Okay, what we're going to be looking at here is getting the true length and true inclination of this line segment AB. Um, and the true inclination that we are looking at is the true inclination to the vertical plane. All right, what does that mean? Basically, I've got a line segment over here. And you can see over here I've got what they call the horizontal plane. I'm going to call it HP for now. And I've got the vertical plane. Uh, the idea with the vertical plane, well, this little part over here, if I just tip that up like that, there is my vertical plane. And I've got a line segment that is sitting in this vertical plane, which looks something like that. All right? Um, the true inclination to the vertical plane, I'm looking at this angle, angle over here. Okay? And you'll see that I've put a little question mark in there. That angle that you're seeing there isn't the exact angle that I'm wanting. The reason being is that this line segment that you're seeing in this horizontal plane is not a true length. You can only get the true inclination once you've got the true length. But it does tell me that I must be using these measurements over here from the xy axis to b1 and from the xy axis to a1 when I'm going to be getting my true length which must happen over here. So if I'm wanting the true inclination to the vertical plane, I must be using those measurements on an xy axis which I'm going to develop over here. Right. Let's start. I'm going to take my set square. I'm going to place my set square in line with AB over there. I'm going to slide it out and I'm going to draw in an XY axis. Should be done with a 0.3 pencil. And you mark that X1, Y1. Once I've got that in place, I then slide this back. Note that's Parallel to that line, I haven't changed anything. I'm just going to slide it back. I take my other set square round. I place it up against that set square, which I'm holding down very, very firmly. And I'm able to draw a construction line coming out from B. I go across to where A is. I take a construction line out. And what does that mean? That means that I'm looking in the direction of this line AB at 90 degrees. If I'm looking at 90 at 90 degrees to the object, whatever view I'm going to see in over here is going to be a true length of whatever that line is. Where am I going to get the measurements in order to get that line? I'm going to take them from my xy axis down here, from A to the xy axis. I find o A over there. I go up to my xy axis over here and I place down a mark which I'm going to call A2. You'll see that this one is called A1, A, A2 over there, from the XY axis to B1 over here on my horizontal plane, going up, going up to the new XY axis and place that down as B2. Right, once I've got that, I can now take a line which goes from A to B, and then I continue a construction line down until it cuts over my XY axis over here. At that point over there, I can now take my protractor and I can now measure my angle over here by placing zero on there. I measure up over here and I'm able to get 20, I think it's 26 degrees over there, more or less. I'm just going to zoom in there. All right, yeah, 20, 25.5 degrees. Right, once I've got that, I can draw in a little arc over there with some arrows. And I can name that angle with 25, I'm just going to call it 25 degrees. Right, I can then also measure off what this length over here is. And I see that it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 48, okay, 48 millimeters. And I can dimension that line very quickly. Take a line out, approximately 10 millimeters away. And I can then take lines out at 90 degrees to this 
and I can write in that I've got 48, put my little arrow heads on, little arrow heads on, and I can Right, there's my fully dimensioned line segment showing a true length.